Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will see how you can find the maximum likelihood estimator of the geometric distribution. Myself, Dr. Gar, working in the School of Mathematics, Tapper Institute. You can follow this link for finding the various videos related to this probability and statistics. So our target is to find the maximum likelihood estimator that is called as the MLE for this particular distribution, geometric distribution. However, we have already described the binomial distribution, Bernoulli distribution and the uh, po Poisson distribution of the MLEs in our last videos. You can see in the description part. And we know that in, in case of the geometric distribution, this is the probability mass function and how many unknown parameters are there? Only P. Why? Because you can express this Q is nothing but as 1 minus P. So how many unknown parameters? Only 1. So our target is to find the maximum likelihood estimator of P. How you can find the maximum likelihood estimator? That we discussed that we will define the likelihood function L. We can substitute the value here as this is my PMF. We can substitute this value into here. This is the expression. Now how you can take the maximum? So we have to take the partial derivative of this with respect to the parameter P. Now since here this is the product time so it's very difficult to take this derivative either you can take as a partial or with respect to the full derivative so we have to take the logarithm here so how you can take the logarithm this is nothing but my here now you can apply as a logarithm of the product is nothing but the sum of them this, this is the power so you can take it at outside so this is the constant value and this is my here because you can write this as of here now since this is the part from the summation this is the independent of the i so i can take it as outside and this one so now if you open them this is summation of x minus minus one is nothing but here now what is the rule is that you have to find the likelihood principle that is derivative with respect to p is a zero what is that this is nothing but my how you, how you can take the derivative of this this is here can you find the value of p from here that's a very simple you can uh, operate them now you can uh, uh, multiply them this is np this is n minus np now this is here minus of np so np and np will be cancelled out you can see that and you can find the value of p from here this is this how you can simplify them this is nothing but my can i write this as of x bar yes you can write them so the, what is the meaning of that this is nothing but my sample mean so it means if you have the sample elements like this 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 whatever the mean of this that and the reciprocal of them will nothing but my probability hence the maximum likelihood estimator for the geometry distribution parameter p is 1 upon the sample mean. So can it be the logically that? So this agree with the in, in, uh, intuition that whenever you have considered the n observation of the geometric random variable, there are the n successes in them. It means if you consider here as this, you are here, how many successes you have considered as the n successes in the total are there. Also, you can see that the estimation of the P is nothing but by number of the successes divided by the total number of the trials. So you can see if you can if you perform the experiment up to here infinite number of times, how many times the success occurs say n number of times out of the total number of the trials. So this is the way you can find the maximum likelihood estimator of this parameter P in the geometric distribution. We will see in our next class how you can find the maximum likelihood estimator for the exponential distribution. Till then, you can simply follow this link for finding the various video. Best of luck students.